Hello everyone, my name is Charles Davis and I want to welcome you to the God Principles Podcast, Philippines After Dark. And this is my co-host, the beautiful, the lovely. <laughs> you are Thank Mr. you. Thank you, Charles. <laughs> Hello everyone, good morning. I'm Michelle. I'm sorry for last weekend, my absent, but I'm here today. Yeah. Rock and roll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our topic for today, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be relationships and the part we play in any relationship, whether it's spiritual, physical, we have to be aware of the part we play in it. We're going to start off with the topic. Michelle and I have discussed that she experienced during the week. Go ahead, Michelle. Hi, okay, all right. Um, so I just want to talk about um, in terms of, um, you know, people coming over here um, and working online and all those digital nomads out there. Um, I just want to bring up this topic. Um, unfortunately, uh, my online, uh, my online work employment had not worked out. Um, and from what I've learned from it is the fact that, um, being a digital nomad, you know, you got, you got, you got employment from, from your home country and then all of a sudden, um, uh, what you call it? All of a sudden you got no work. Now what? What do you do? I just want to discuss the fact that do you have a plan in place? You know, what's your plan B? Um, in ter- uh, you know, in terms of employment and 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 for financial aspect. Um, you know, because I thought, oh yeah, I'm safe. You know, my employment's pretty pretty strong. You know, nothing's going to happen. You know, mm-hmm. but. It did, um, to my surprise, but, you know, it is what it is. And, um, and that's where I want to make a point where, yeah, just for those digital nomads and everyone's working online, just have that plan B in place. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is something that we try to bring up on the God principles and it is on our channel as we do offer consulting services for those trying to develop alternate income to move or living over here the description will be in the the link will be in the description one of the things we have to be concerned about is taking overseas assignments when you're accepting or employ, uh, trying for one of these positions, one of the reasons they hire us is because we're in the Philippines and they're able to outsource us and pay us less <laughs> than yes. if we had taken the employment in our country of origin. Mm-hmm. That's why I only take assignments from my country of origin, which mm. is the United States, so I continue that type of income stream. But also, I develop income streams of YouTube is one, um, product endorsements. There are many ways that you can be a digital nomad and make a reliable income. But now, the next thing is, is like the topic is, relationships and the part you play in it you know my role in it this morning about an hour ago someone tagged me in to a live broadcast in milwaukee about a guy that went into a milwaukee hotel something happened inside the hotel that They brought him outside, they got into an altercation, and 
he ended up dying. This is very similar to the I can't breathe incident. I don't have the details, but I looked at it and I say, okay, that was the end result. But what part did he play in it? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And there's cameras. They're going to probably look and see what happened. But we have to be aware of when we go into situations, we may not, it may not turn out the way we think. Mm -hmm. All right? Because there are other spirits at play there. We don't know that person that we're interacting with. And so we only look at it in the human dimension. But what about the God dimension? See, I've learned from the recovery community, we, we have this statement that says, God, take my will and my life, guide me in my recovery, Show me how to live. There's three parts to that. Now, it says, take my will and my life. That's not a pleasant feeling. <laughs> Think about it. You know, we're self-willed people. And it's like, okay, I'm going this way. I'm doing this. All right. <laughs> and so God has to take your will. It hurts. It hurts. I'm telling right. you. You, because we don't want to get we we set out on a certain path, not realizing that I call that a God contract. Remember, we talked about this. What is your contract? If you said God help me, that is a permanent contract. Once you have said it, God acts on it in your behalf. That's what I wanted to bring up here. Mm -hmm. What do you got to say about that, Michelle? Uh, I, uh oh. Well, I don't <laughs> know. I mean, this is all new to me. Like, I, when you know, speaking to Charles and and you know, you, you have a contract. Like that's your contract with God. I've never seen it in that sort of perspective before, ever. And yeah. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's a great. It's, it's a new new perspective that it's exciting you know it's 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 yeah i don't know what to say but it's all new to me and i just want to hear more of it people hear more of it oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well okay all right <clears throat> so now that we have that concept out there that you know even though you may not believe in that religious definition that is really a spiritual thing. And we say, be careful what you say or tell yourself. Because that's yeah. energy that you put out into the universe. Correct. So so if you put it out there, it's got to come back to you. It, <laughs> it to. is. Yeah, it be careful to. what you it put out to. there. That's absolutely, yes. Okay, so now. I believe that. Yes, for sure. The next part is, I was sharing with Michelle, I saw something last night, I said, this is a perfect topic for Philippines After Dark. Because realize, we talk about what happens after dark, mm -mm. okay? And in my experience, don't nothing good happen after dark. If you out there going somewhere, and it's not intentional, like you're going to an event, but someplace you know, be aware that that's when predators come out, people that are up to no good, and you may run into some situations, we call them people, places, and things, that the outcome may not be in your best interest. Here in the Philippines, and this is about the expats, I need for you to pay real close attention to this. There was a news report where they found a Filipino beauty queen, if I remember correctly, and her Israeli boyfriend. 
They found the bodies as the result of a police investigation. It looks like they've been murdered and they were buried out there somewhere in the jungle. And they, they showed the video of the Philippine police out there digging up the body. Oh, gosh. What can you talk about about that? You're, you're the Filipina in this conversation. Oh, I am too, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's right. Wow. I, I mean, what, what, what was this beauty queen involved with? What relationships did you have? Did she have with other people? Why, why did it, why was she murdered? It's, it's, they, the the yeah. fact is, we need to be aware. And that if people come to the Philippines and we become, oh, we become so uh, cloud nine. Oh, this is such a nice place. Mm -hmm. This place is no different than the rest of the world. Correct. All right. And just like as an African American, I can go into some places in America with a Caucasian woman, and it's going to be bad news. Oh. It's going to be bad news. See, it's no different. It's no different. Not everybody here likes the fact that Filipino women are dating expats or foreigners. Not everybody's comfortable with that. And you could run into that situation because they, I mean, it's just the same element here. Mm. I mean, jealousy, envy, that's a human condition. Mm. And um, I'm bringing that out because, because I observe the internet about what's going on, Michelle, and I have seen that people are reacting to situations thinking they were harmless, mm -hmm. all right, and end up being killed. And it's, do you think it's not a matter of the wrong time, wrong place? <laughs> well, the ones that I saw, there was a, there was a, 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 a Anglo-American who went, was in a restaurant and he went to take his food back to the counter. There was something wrong. They, they showed the, the video of it. There was no sound, but whatever he said, that guy came from around that corner and punched him and the guy fell down and hit his head and he died. You wouldn't expect that outcome. No. You see what I'm saying? In a restaurant. Uh, yeah. It was a fast no, but... like a Burger King or, or, mm. or a McDonald's. Oh, or okay, something. yeah. And so, I mean, you have to be aware of your part in any situation. Now, we were talking last night about healthy relationships. And I'm of the belief that if my behavior isn't being bringing out the best in you, then we shouldn't be around each other. What do you got to say about that? No, I understand that. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with that. Um, I mean, why would you want to be with people who constantly going to be bringing you down um, and, and doesn't make you feel good? Why would you want to be, you know, being involved with those types of relationship with people? Okay. So you've always been a good girl. You have never rubbed people the wrong way. I probably have. <laughs> Many times, like, and you know, uh -oh. and, you know, uh -oh. like, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in work, at work, of course. Um, let me think. Yeah, of course. It's uh -oh. a matter of how you deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How well, you the deal with these? Is, yeah. It's yeah. not always going to be perfect. And no. some some interactions, it just happens. Mm. 
But if it's always happening, there's something wrong. Mm. There's something wrong because all of our action interactions should not be negative or in certain one-on-one -on -one situations, there should be some ground where we meet a, a peaceful road. And if we're not, gotta go. Gotta go. Because I'm gonna close with this. Um, I wanna thank everybody for watching. If this has been a value to you, we would like for you to hit like, subscribe, share it, leave some comments about topics that you would like for us to cover from Philippine After Dark. And I want to share with you that as I have expressed on the channel, I'm fixing to, to uh, broaden the topic. And I'm starting a new channel because Philippines After Dark, just limited to topics from the Philippines is too small. And so what I've done is I'm going to share this with everyone. Let's see if I can bring this up. Oh, no, not that one. This one. This is what is coming it's going to be a personal site where I'm going to be offering counseling services that goes deeper into uh, life coaching. This has been the purpose of the God principles. However, I'm bringing it out in my personal brand. This is going to be uh, what is going to be another YouTube channel associated with it. And once it's up and running, I will, I'm going to invite you to come over and subscribe to this because it's going to be covering uh, deeper topics such as fulfilling relationships, discover the secrets to nurturing deep connections and building meaningful relationships that enrich your life and soul. See, this is really a soul journey. If you look at it, it says soul guidance. And we always tend to reach these circumstances where, if you look here, it says for men and women who are tired of grinding through life, unfulfilled, suffering in silence, and just plain tired of feeling sick and tired. A lot of people reach that dilemma and they don't know why that happened. It just so happens I've been through that and I've been in giving the knowledge and the experience and the programs that I've created, a soul program that has guided me through the process of, I call it karmic seeds. These are seeds that are planted in your spirit that you don't know about. Wow. And, and Amazing divine, stuff. And, and divine alignment see michelle and i have been experienced a divine alignment how her life and my life cross paths here in the philippines all the way and, here in the philippines yep right right there's a, there's some divine timing going on here and it's anyway <laughs> when it comes online i'm gonna come on See, it's going to be a whole YouTube broad podcast session just on this, how to manifest money, how to manifest the right loving and caring relationships in your life. And I'm going to ask you all to just stay tuned and keep coming back. Thank you, Michelle. Stay online. Thank you, you, Charles. Will do. Okay. <laughs>